Hello, do I have Donna on the line? Hello, you do have Donna. Hi, Donna. It's Kay Brecken. I'm a board member with the Indigo Lover Reading Foundation. Hi, Kay. Hi, how are you today? We are good. How big is your literacy team, the team that was involved in putting your grant application together? Well, our, the, the whole staff helped us out and a community, community volunteer who helps out at the school quite often. So we have six teachers, myself and the community volunteer. So tell us a little bit about the condition of your school library right now and, and the budget that you have for books. Very limited. We have under 100 students. Right now we have 82 students, so we run on a very tight budget. If we can get $700 a year into that budget, we are excited and thrilled, which you know doesn't really cover for the loss of books from either losing them or overloving them and replacing them. Our collection is, what are we at again, Linda? We're at about uh, just over 4,000 books in the library. And uh, we've been weeding and going through and trying to, to update. We have areas of need, like high interest for boys. Jen Valance could talk about our need for the um, upper intermediate grade. We need books that are of high interest but low entry point for our readers. We have, very, we have so few students that we have very diverse needs. How do you imagine that a grant from the foundation would change the situation at your school? We're really trying to have books in our library and in our classrooms that uh, help our K-7 school align the uh, concepts that we're covering to help our students read. And this has been a bit of a challenge because a lot of our books are quite old and the interest is not there to read those books. And so we'd like to be able to get some books in our library and also in our classroom libraries to support the concepts that we're covering with reading. And how would you celebrate if you were to win a grant? You'd probably run through the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> a book party. Yes, a party of some sort or an assembly. Or a, yeah. And I just want to point out, too, that this is a school that loves reading. Even though we have some holes, the students are very excited. In fact, I have students in my 6-7 class that have literally run out of books to read at our school. They're avid readers. They're taking books home. They're always looking for something new, and that's frustrating as a, as a teacher because, you know, I have to steer them out of here and, and encourage them to go to, uh, to buy books or borrow them from other libraries, and it would be really nice for me to have some more options for them. Well, I was one of those kids who loved books, so I, I know what it's like to be able to inspire someone to get that joy and knowledge and learning from books. And I'm thrilled to let you know that you need to start running through the hallways because you have... <laughs> Yes, congratulations. You will be receiving $30,000 over oh, the next three years. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, so we're crying. <laughs> so I'd like to put my two cents this in. This is Linda Taggart. I'm, I'm Linda, the volunteer. community volunteer. When, when I came here two years ago, I walked in that library. It stunk. It was so old. It was awful. And we've done our best to clean it up. But this is just amazing. I'm so thrilled for this school. Well, we are totally thrilled to be able to help you and to take that $700 annual budget to a $10,000 budget for the next three years. Unreal. Thank you so much. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you, so much. thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. We will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.